My name is Carrie, and I'm so excited today I'm going to be giving you some of my tips and tricks I use when I'm doing my product pictures. So when it comes to taking these pictures I like to get really creative so I'm going to give you some of my little creative ideas that I use today and also just some little tips that I use that help enhance my pictures before I edit. A few of my tips that I use um, pretty much just help minimize what you have to edit and if you edit your pictures. When I have my product, let's say I'm photographing this bad boy here, when I have this and let's say I want to put it against a wood wall, I'm not going to put it right against that wood wall because if I do then everything is going to be in focus. Instead, I'm going to want to move this out, I don't know, let's say, five or six inches from the wall, and that'll give the background a nice blur, and this will be the main attention. Another little tip, instead of having your product dead center in the middle of your picture, I would move it more off to the side. This is going to grab the eye of the person that is looking at your picture more so than if it was just dead center. It kind of adds a little creative flair to it. When I went into my photography classes, a lot of pictures that I took were always dead center and then I learned that it's better to actually have them off into the sides or upper or more lower and I never really understood why and then I started comparing my pictures that were dead center and off to the side and these just have a more aesthetic feel to, to them and will draw more attention. Another little tip I have has to do with lighting. So. Right now to do this video I'm just using natural lighting which is actually what I use for a good bit of my pictures. Um, for natural lighting indoors I just look for windows. I typically try to do my product pictures on cloudy days because I find you get less glare that way. Um, especially when I do my pictures outdoors I always look for cloudy days. Unless the only way that I do a bright sunny day is if I'm looking at the sunbeams coming through a window and I like to play with that shadow a little bit. I know some people prefer other lighting techniques rather than the natural light. So for that, when I decide I'm not going to shoot in natural light, I use my off-camera flash. And then I also have this little ring light I use. I know a lot of other people in this business, they use the bigger ring lights. And I do like them. That's on my order wish list right now. I just have this little guy and it works pretty well, especially in smaller areas that I'm shooting. Um, but the nice thing about this is when I'm doing a live or something, I can just like hook it to my phone and I'm good to go. So that's nice too. I have a few tips for you when you're using your off-camera flash and even when you're not using your off-camera flash. The best way to minimize your glare, like I said earlier, is to shoot on a cloudy day. If you want to use your off-camera flash or just work with the glares of the sun, then there are ways to do that to minimize your glare on your bottle. A little tip that I use when I'm photographing with an off-camera flash or just working with the sun is I shoot my off-camera flash in the opposite way my bottle is. So if my bottle is laying flat and I'm photographing above it, I'm going to have my off-camera flash coming in from this side. So the flash isn't beaming right on top of the bottle and giving me a direct glare. So one of my biggest recommendations is to just get in there with the props and have fun with it. Um, a little thing that I have done, and I think it's kind of fun and cute, is using the letter board. I've done this with flash shells which come across super cute and they also kind of grab people's attention I feel. When it also comes to props I try to find objects that will set off my products rather than take away from them. So I do little things that I can just set off in the background like little jars I can put flowers in, um, little tea candles, like that. Or also if I want to dress up my pictures and make them look a little more girly, we can add a little purse in there which is cute. Don't be afraid to get creative with your content pictures and just have fun with it. Um, if they don't turn out good, you don't have to post them. But it's always better to try something and if it turns out cool, you have that to add to your business. 
Um, a fun little thing is adding some costume jewelry, which I love doing, especially if it kind of goes with the colors of the products. I think that's fun and kind of offsets it really well. So I have this like chunky blue necklace that I think might be cool to do with some products. So I'm going to try that for the first time with you guys right now. And you don't have to have a fancy spot to take your pictures. I literally do these on my bedroom floor. So for my chunky necklace picture, I think I'm going to offset it on this fur little patch that I use. I actually use this for newborn pictures too. So I'm going to throw my necklace in here. I don't have my products in yet, so I'll move that around then. But I'm going to do something with that. Alright, so I'm just going to photograph some conditioner and shampoo combos with this necklace that I think will look cool, especially with the bottles of the colors. Alright, check it out how it went. chat about quick is where you take your pictures. It can literally be anywhere and you can make it look good. I photograph a lot of mine on the floor. I go outside and do it on the deck. Um, I do it against my pink wall. You can do it anywhere and it'll come out good. Especially if you add the blurry background effect to it. Um, you can add props in it to give it some flavor. You can add doilies, little fur spots. You can get those on Amazon super cheap. And you just can have fun with it, and whatever you're confident in will come out good. So, something that I challenge myself with, and I would also challenge you with, is go propless and just go with what the product has to offer. And what I mean by that is sometimes sim being simple is actually more, so you don't have to have all the fancy props to have the best picture. So, some things that I do, and I do a lot, is just do the product in its raw format. So for this, I'm even going to get rid of my shabby little ball of fur here. So this is how I would photograph something without props, just as the product. You could keep the cap on, but I think it kind of gives it more of a fun touch with it off. Another example of a product in raw format would be the eye smooth cream. So for this, my goal would be to capture the cream and also the little applicator that comes with it. So again, I'm just picking out some random products, but this time I want to talk about how I photograph my products in groups. When I do a grouping, I like to mix up the colors of the products I use. For example, I don't do them all as the dark blue color. Instead, I add in some of the silver bottles, which adds a different little touch to it. And then when I photograph groups, instead of having the whole group in focus, Instead, I will pick one or two, maybe, maybe even three, to have in focus and then have an onset of blur, which adds a different touch of creativity to it and kind of catches the eye. This is also a good example of how I have them set away from the wall. And they're also, this is also, again, on my bedroom floor, but I have them on this little furry patch and you can't even tell it's on my floor and then as you can tell I have it pretty far away from my wall so then it just looks like blurry gray background So 
now I'm going to talk about shooting through objects. I like to do this mostly with plants. I do do it with glass and I also like to play with the effect of mirrors as well. So I'll show you a little bit about that today. And then also I'm going to show you about putting plants in the background. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I shoot through products. And I'm just going to do it with this little bottle of Virginia beads. So I'm just going to keep this on my fur. And I'm going to do it with these fake yellow flowers. See, it's so easy. They don't even have to be real. So over there's my Rejuva beads. And I'm going to kind of keep a little bit of distance away from my bottle. And I'm going to yank my flowers out of my jar. And I'm just going to... This is on video, so this doesn't quite have the same effect. But I will hold these up here and kind of shoot through like that. Here you can see how my pictures actually turned out. I also like to do pictures of a product with a plant off in the background of it and maybe even up in the front like up here. I love the aesthetic look and kind of just the simple look of pictures with the plants in the background of the products. I mean we are plant based products so why not show it off by having plants in your pictures. And I just think it's kind of simple and a refreshing image. So here I'm going to photograph one of my Only For You products and then have the plant in the background and also have one here in the front and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when I shot through the plant. Okay, so I have one last thing I'm going to show you today, and that is photographing the products in the shower. I just kind of discovered this, and I think it's also super fun. And I mean, this is what these products are for, so I think it's a great way to display them. I've never photographed my cream shave yet before, so that's what I decided to do for this shoot. So I have my products set up there where I want it to be. And to give it the shower feel, I'm going to take my shower head. And I'm just going to turn the water on. And I'm just going to spray it down. So both my product and the area gets that water feel. Also with taking pictures of my product in the shower, I also did some where I shot through the loofah, which gave a cool effect. Alright, same thing. I have my products here laid up on the ledge of my shower. And I'm just going to take my shower head and spray them down quick. So you see the residue on each bottle of the water. And that's going to add the texture to the picture. This is where I'll tell you not to be afraid to get close to your products. Um, again, this is kind of working with what your products have to offer, kind of show the wording on them, the detail, and with this shoot it's good because it also gets you in close to the water speckles. that's a wrap on how I take my product pictures. I really hope that helped you get in the creative mindset for your next shoot and gives you some ideas that'll spice it up for your viewers. 
I had a lot of fun just kind of getting creative with it and thinking of new ideas, so I hope you do too. And also, I just hope that it helps you better your photography when it comes to taking your product pictures, as well as hopefully it minimizes your editing. Um, my biggest takeaways that I would want for you from this video is just how to minimize your glare on your bottles for one, and then also just how to be able to decipher your best lighting and how to focus on your products in the best way and also just how to get creative just have fun with it and find new things that will be different for your viewers and I really hope this helped you thanks for watching